All right, so we're ready to cook our chocolate crepes. We have our beautiful chocolate sauce here ready to go. I've got a spare plate here for actually folding the crepes. We've got our serving plate ready to go here. And also I've transferred our crepe mixture into a nice little jug. So just over here where you can see the fry pan, most put, we're going to be cooking it with butter, but in order for the butter not to burn, we've got a, our crepe fry pan on um, not quite a high heat. I'm going to place a little knob of butter in there. And as you can see, it's starting to melt, but be, always take it off the heat. And we're going to do each one individually. So as you can notice, by putting the canola spray in, our butter's not burning, so we get nice golden crepes as opposed to burning crepes. Okay, now look, everybody likes their crepes. Some like them nice and thick, others like them nice and thin. And the way you adjust that is just by how much mix you put in. So I tend to work backwards and around. We're gonna go for a reasonably thick crepe. Swirl it around the sides a little bit. There's no perfect way to do a crepe, but this will make a nice one. Got a little bit of inconsistency there, but we're after nice, yummy crepes. You see that's gonna to start to cook nicely. Just takes a few seconds. That's cooking nicely now. We're just going to move it forward a bit. When you've got a nice knock and stick pan, just going to sit nice. So just check that we've got a bit of browning underneath. A few more seconds there. If you notice the heat that we're using, we're not going for a full high heat. We don't want to burn the crap out of it. We're just going, on my dial it's about five, so about three quarter way. So not quite high, but a little bit over halfway. That's nice and smooth. Now, we're going to flip her over. And we've got a beautiful golden crepe. Check the bottom of that now. Got a bit of colour on that. Place that on our plate. Let's get the second one cooking. A little bit of spray. And the idea is to keep adjusting the heat so you don't burn your butter. You want nice golden crepes. We don't want the bad ones. So again, that's getting a little bit hot. So we take that off the heat. Reduce our heat down a bit. Make sure that butter's all completely melted. A little bit of caramelization on the butter is not gonna hurt. Yeah, create mixture on there. When you're in a scenario where you've got a bit of a hole in it, don't be scared to add another little drop. So that will all come together nicely. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get our chocolate, a little bit of the chocolate in there, get it around onto the crepe. Fold her over, 
a little bit more in there and that's our first crate ready to go and then let's get our plating started so if we go over here we have a look at our plate let's get a little bit of chocolate on the bottom Absolutely beautiful. We'll get our lovely first crepe onto it there. At this stage our second crepe is almost ready to rock and roll. You can start to see this forming together nicely now. and smooth absolutely gorgeous give her a bit of a flip that'll only take a few seconds there from start to finish you can get this plated up in about 10-15 minutes absolutely gorgeous I'm going to switch off the heat there, get it to our plate. Same procedure again with the crepe. That is beautiful. These need to be eaten as fresh as possible because they're nice and crunchy and golden. Any kind of desserts where you're using butter, the fresher, the better. Lovely. Nice dollop of chocolate over the top. And there we go. Beautiful chocolate crepes.